To begin this tutorial, open up in TearOff the Architectural Tools tutorial. 3D tools include the Floor Slab tool, Make 3D, takes 2D walls and creates 3D walls from them, and the Roof tool. Before working in 3D on our walls, open up the Inspector. Select pen colors. These pen colors are used to actually create our 3D walls. So whichever color you've chosen for your pen, that will be the color of your walls by default when we create them. Now let's adjust our view. From the View menu, choose Trimetric, and then from View, select Zoom All to fit the drawing inside our window. We can press the space bar and pan over and adjust the view so that it's all inside the workspace. Select the Make 3D tool. The prompt says Select Walls to Make 3D. Open up our Pick window. Options appear for the wall height that it will create, the height that it will create the doorway, as well as the window opening and the elevation from the floor up to the bottom of the window. Click OK and your walls are created. The doors and windows are shown as translucent. We'll adjust the view just a little more to center the drawing. We'll pull off the navigation tools to give us quick access to them later. Next we'll add a floor slab. Click the slab tool from the toolbar. Above you have the slab thickness and the offset is how far out away from the edge of the house the slab extends. Just drag around the plan and it creates the floor slab. Use the dynamic rotate tool to adjust the 3D view however is needed. Once you've created these 3D walls, you can go back and adjust them later. For instance, we'll select a wall, choose the wall, its properties appear, we'll change the height to 10 feet. Press Enter. The option is given to change all of the connected walls and it raises them all to 10 feet. You can always choose Undo to reverse back a step and try something else you like or just change to a new value. We can also change these walls by changing the materials. From the window menu, choose Render Library. Click the drop-down. The Texture Material Libraries appear. Click to select one. Drag and drop the material over the surface to apply the material to. Drag different materials over to experiment with different decorating ideas. There are different application options for the texture materials. Scrolling through to select a library. Above, you'll find options as to what surfaces to apply materials to. Apply Normal applies to individual faces. Body is the whole object. In this case, all of those walls together make up the body. Apply Similar applies to items that are similarly textured or colored. Apply Normal applies that texture to the individual face. Apply Similar, we'll select another material, drag and drop that over one of those faces and you'll see everything with that siding will take on the new siding that we've drug over. Again, anything that matches will get the new material. Apply Body, we'll apply the new material to the entire body even if it's already got a material. 
you may find applying it to the body first to color or texture everything is quick and then you can go update different rooms or walls. Next for the roof, you can add either a hip roof or a flat roof. The pitch is the slope of the roof. This is a 6 to 12 slope. You can adjust that as you want, but this is 6 inches to 12 inches. And the soffit is your overhang. We'll set that to 1 inch. Drag around the entire house, and it will add the roof. And now that we have a roof placed, we'll change to a roofing material library. We'll use the apply body that applies the texture to the entire roof. Now we'll deselect the roof and you'll see the white edges around each of the roof panels. That's a rendering option. Under view, you'll find shade options and we have fong with edges selected. We'll set that to just fong and the edges go away. 